101. This is William here this evening, and they've asked me to come on to share their insights and perceptions and understanding about generating higher frequency feelings and what that means and how does that relate to channeling. Hi, Lori. And we're going to wait for a few people to come on before we get right into it. Hello, Christopher. It's, um, it's very interesting as you allow yourself to step out of your limited sense of who you think you are and begin to connect to the being that is you that doesn't need to analyze or weigh or measure you move into a state of, of knowing. Um, hi. As you move into a higher state of knowing, you no longer need to apply the process of analysis to the, to the the methodology of comprehension and understanding because you move into direct knowing. And um, hello, Lorraine. And that's a very powerful piece of information to have. But again, we're going to get into that a little bit more as more people come on board. Hello, Heidi. So I've got Archangel Michael and Archangel Metatron with me this evening. And I've got Yogananda sitting back here somewhere too. There's a number of high level beings that are energetically weighing in on this process tonight. And I'm going to do the best I can to allow them to speak um, in the least inhibited fashion that I can. Hi, Karen. Higher frequency feelings. Higher frequency feelings are vibrations, qualities of your being that can get communicated down into your body from the point of consciousness where you are just pure energy connected to source, to your higher self, to God, to all the other divine beings that work um, from that plane through time, space, and matter. So generating higher frequency feelings means you have learned to step outside of your identification of being just a physical body. And you see, when you are in a physical body, you identify as having five physical senses. And those physical senses restrict the range of your perceptive abilities to frequency ranges that are physical or sound uh, ranges that are uh, limited in their capabilities with your ears. Your ears can only hear a certain frequency. Your eyes can only see a certain frequency. Your uh, nose can only smell certain frequencies. And in your identification with yourself as a physical body, you are... Um, diminished somewhat in your ability to access higher frequencies as long as you believe that that physical body in which you sit right now is the point of reference from which you uh, view, comprehend and understand reality as you think you know it. The work that we are doing with you during these weeks is fundamentally to enable you to step outside of the identification of self with the form and begin to communicate from your soul position, that place of consciousness where you are energy, you have the capabilities to move from the undifferentiated state of being to a differentiated state of matter without losing the integrity of your identification of who you are. What do we mean by this? We mean that you have an individual identity in this body, but you also have an individualized identity as this entity you call soul, your being. Um, from that perspective, all frequencies are accessible to you. At this point, many of you are in the frequency of strictly the physical form and the modalities that come with its senses. But as you learn to stop listening with your ears, stop seeing with your eyes, and start sensing with your feeling nature, uh, not your emotional nature. Your emotional nature is a valuable tool in learning how to step out of the physical platform of perception into a non-physical perception of reality. Uh, this body is basically a stairmaster for you to climb back up to your spiritual nature and then to function from that level and to manifest what it is you wish to express into this physical dimension as human experience, as collective uh, being uh, in this form. We want to take you on a little journey this evening to feel and remember your higher frequencies. And even as we speak now to you, 
Some of you are sensing these frequencies within you. Some of you are feeling it around your heads. Others of it are feeling as a racing in the heart. Some of you get it as the movement of the hairs on your body. Some of you get it as actual pressures pushing in. Some of you get it as an expansion. It will be unique to the modality which is most dominant for you as an individual manifestation of the soul self that is you. And so the journey we will take you on will be to take you out of the identification of this, to um, rewire you, so to speak, uh, back into conscious recalling of a feeling state that is not based in your sensorial mechanisms ability to react to or perceive what you call reality. But it does not separate you from your capabilities in perceiving physical reality. Quite the contrary, it enhances it so that the uh, abilities that you have to work with energy change significantly when you're working and able to consciously generate higher frequencies. Now we're going to qualify higher frequencies in the terms that you might understand them better as negative and positive, as good and bad, as right and wrong. These lower frequencies of emotion are frequencies of energy, which is all there is, is energy. But these lower frequencies are what most of you identify with. Uh, uh, joy, sadness, um, guilt, innocence, um, play. These are just aspects of energy. But the higher frequencies do not weigh themselves in terms of a comparative way, but the ability to step from one emotional state up in frequency, the frequency of joy is higher in its range of frequency than the frequency of sorrow. They are both frequencies, they are both universal, but your ability to tap into any one of those frequencies at a given point in time gives you a level of versatility that is not afforded to anybody who's not conscious of these realities. And so you may be in a state of sadness and if you understand frequency, you can alter and step out of that frequency of sadness and move immediately to a frequency of joy. There's many techniques for doing this, and what we will do tonight will allow you to literally just re-access in the stepping process a higher frequency of your being that you might call love, or you might call bliss, or you might call joy. But your willingness to forget what you think you know about who it is you believe yourself to be and allow yourself to experience yourself as being that which we will guide you to being, which is what you are, from that perspective you can know. From that perspective, when you get exposed to and experience those frequencies, they, they get hardwired into your physical mechanism because you're able to bring them down the minutes you are accessing something, you conduct it down into your form. Which is why in many schools, the energy comes down. And in other schools, the energy comes up. One is raising frequency up. One is bringing a higher frequency down. Ideally, they meet in the central point, the heart of the form, where these frequencies uh, interchange and create a, a um, we'll say, a divine synthesis in one's capability to express themselves in this physical dimension. And uh, with that in mind, if you do not understand the language and the words which we are speaking, we will do our best to simplify them later. It is better to take you through the experience of the process and then allow your experience of what you experience to be the baseline from which you will be able to comprehend what we're saying a little further. So join us now. Please be comfortable and relaxed where you are. Allow yourself to settle in gently and gingerly. This is uh, going to be exciting more than it will be serious because you begin to understand as we work with you and generate these frequencies intentionally, which you do too. The difference is we know which frequencies we wish to choose to generate, thereby um, manifesting the precise experience and reality that we wish ourselves to be existing in at any point of time and space. Every single soul on this physical dimension is working with these frequencies both high and low, positive and negative. The distinction between us and the vast majority of the physical beings that are on this planet today 
is merely the point of experience and awareness that allows one to articulate different frequencies down into form. So again, get yourselves comfortable. The experience is of greater value to you than the words that we're speaking at this point in time. And your experience and the raising of your vibration as you allow yourself to be brought back to that which is in alignment with who you truly are, that awareness is a far greater modality for integrating and understanding that which you have always known but have simply forgotten by the process of viewing yourself through this limited container in which you find yourself. But now it's time to bring it down, to bring your higher frequencies down and to feel them, to feel the way they function in the cells of your body, to feel them even to the subatomic levels of matter and particulate in your form. And at those levels, we move into what you would call in this realm, the quantum energies of matter. And it is at this level where the construction of different forms of matter, uh, immediate experience, divine manifestation, what you call healing, it is at this level of organization that very, very fine level of organization that the creative process uh, becomes far more effective because then you can organize energy more, um, we'll say faster, but it doesn't do the concept proper justice. You'll be able to organize your affairs much more expediently than simply by just thinking about it. When you can feel the result of that which you wish to experience, it is far faster than the construction of an idea in your mind and the time it takes for that idea to organize molecules. When you can feel the, um, the frequency of what you want clearly and definitively, the result can be instantaneous. So please make yourselves comfortable and make certain you put uh, water into that body you're sitting in. We've put almost two liters into this body in the last 45 minutes to prepare it for this. As higher frequencies move much faster, and so the frequencies uh, change the way the body, the physical mechanism, consumes energy. But there's a way of synthesizing that, provided you provide it with the uh, right materials. So breathe deeply and let your body relax into the space in which you find it. and allow your body to relax. Give that vehicle your permission to relax. Allow all the muscles in its face to relax. Allow all the muscles in its neck and shoulders to relax. Allow the muscles in his arms and chest to relax. Breathe deeply, draw in fresh energy. And as you exhale, let all the muscles in your torso relax. Breathe deeply. And as you exhale, allow all the muscles in the legs and pelvis to relax. Give these great muscles permission to relax. Give the muscles in your feet permission to relax. Breathe deeply. And as you exhale, release any remaining tension from the form. Now move your awareness into the place where your thoughts are. 
the place where you hear these words. And just gently ask that place to relax, to let go. And allow yourself to listen consciously. Allow yourself to go deeper into the silence. Let all the thoughts go. Give them permission to rest. and stay present with our voice. Now allow your awareness to move slightly above the physical head of the form. And just feel the energy just above the form. Feel the feeling of not being in the form the same way. Allow all thought to subside. It will be there later. Just feel. We are going to speak a word to you and we want you to feel the vibration of the word as you are now becoming aware of the vibrations of these words we speak now and the word we speak to you now is love feel the vibration of the word love. Feel that vibration just above your head. Speak or think the word above your head, love, and feel the vibration of that word. and how it moves down into the body. But keep your perspective above the body. Feel the word love, its vibration, the effect it has on your form when you think it or speak it. Now speak the word light and feel the vibration of the word light. Speak or think the word light again and let that feeling move down into your body while maintaining your perspective above the body. Feel your conscious relationship to these two words, love, light. Feel how those words vibrate in your awareness love, light. Breathe those vibrations deep into the cells of your body now.
and breathe them again into the cells of your body. And speak this phrase now and feel the vibration it generates in the body. I am love. I am light. Feel the vibration in your body. I am love. I am light. It is the vibration that you feel more than the focus of the words. Feel the vibration of the words. Allow your body to integrate that vibration. Allow that vibration to move through your body as it does naturally while maintaining your position just above the head. And without analysis, just feel your being just above your head. Feel it. Feel it. As you allow yourself to feel these frequencies, you attune your consciousness to a different range of perception than you can through your body alone. Very gently bring your awareness back down into the head. And notice the difference in the feeling in your physical head. Now bring your awareness down into your heart. And notice the difference in the feeling in your heart. Become aware of all other parts of the body and how they are feeling from these frequencies. Some of you can feel our presence with you more now as you attune yourself slightly higher through this process. The vibration of words has a value when you speak them. Do not get caught in the language of words, but recognize the value of the vibration of the words. You may use this process to selectively choose language that will enable you to tap into and bring down into your form higher frequencies. This is how you generate your higher frequencies into your form. Breathe yourself back into this present moment, feeling the difference in your body now versus the few minutes prior when you began. or is in your identification of the feeling energy that you draw yourself closer to being to able to effectively interpret the meaning of the vibrations we transmit to you or the vibrations we transmit to you when you ask us a question or the vibrations we request from different aspects of the self. It is through your feeling nature at higher frequencies that you get closer to what you label as the truth. But truth is a very subjective term. Um, for one can be at a different level of frequency and interpret truth very differently. 
but your experience of the vibrations that you experienced are relevant for you to understand the nature of your being directly. And although we may have assisted in walking you through the process, you walked through the process. You allowed yourself to experience what you allowed yourself to experience of your feeling energy, of your unique self, of your being nature, both as the form and as the formless. It is an important step when it is felt and not thought about in your capabilities to transmit that which you came here to transmit, to manifest and divest into this dimension those things which you came to articulate as your living experience, as your gift gifts to others, as your gift to this earth. This will get clearer as you practice the processes of experiencing these higher frequencies, of deliberately accessing them. You can access high or low frequencies, and every one of you have done this, and the low frequency is not much fun. The high frequencies are always fun. Um, but any frequency is an experience, and you came here to experience. The difference now is you're moving to a realm where you have choice for what you wish to experience, what you wish to experience directly, what you wish to impart onto others to experience. And our goal is to, again, bring you into a greater sense of connectivity with all of us so that we work as one together while still having the joy and the pleasure of being the individual that is unique and distinct in and of itself. Um, this is what we wish to bring to you this evening. This is what we asked him to do. And um, we will take some questions with regards to this. And um, we will bring some people forward to share with the collective of this group that which we believe would contribute to its further growth. For as each of you accesses these higher frequencies willingly and by choice, you Elevate the energies around you, the people around you, whether they're conscious of it or not. These energies have a definitive effect on time, space, and matter as you understand them to be. But we understand them to be very flexible and very malleable, that your experience is subject to change at any given moment, and indeed can be changed radically if one has the knowledge and understanding of how frequency is utilized in the alteration of subatomic structures and the manifestation of them in greater sized particles. Uh, but that's another discussion. Um, so we will take questions now. Um, when, when they're saying we, they're saying uh, there's a number of them here that will address questions that they feel will be suitable to each of you as you require an answer that will be different from one individual to another. And so bear this in mind, when you ask your question, the question you will receive will be unique and distinct to you and may have some resonance for others, but we will target our responses specifically to the frequency at which you pose your question. So be mindful of that. When you pose a question, you'll receive it at the frequency at which you exist at the point of that question. <laughs> mm, wonderful. So questions. Hello, Patricia. Hello, Don. And for those of you, and they tell me this all the time, a lot of people think they fall asleep. But rest assured, you're not falling asleep. You're moving out of your reference point. The identification when you move when you move your identification away from the body, you're so, many of us are so used to thinking this body is self that when you move yourself out of it, you lose your reference point for self identification. That's why it is so important um, to learn to become self aware. 
By self-aware, that means to become aware of the consciousness that is you, that isn't this form, but functions through it. At that point in perception, um, when, you, when you get that position, they say, when you get to that position of awareness, then you don't need a body to be conscious or aware anymore. But until that point, you do. Hello, Hello Philomé. Um, that's a good question, Heidi. Um, uh, for you, they're saying you might find it easier to put yourself in front of yourself looking at your body and being aware of your face from an outside perspective that you identify more with the visual elements of eyes and ears. You like the tangibility of the physical. So in stepping out of uh, the form and viewing it from the perspective of you are looking at your physical face, you will experience the process uh, in that slight change in margin you're seeking, that level of clarity that will let you have the sense of recognizing the form as not you from a different perspective. And again, this is unique to each individual and our answers and responses to you will be in that regard for your individuality. Some may find it easier to go from behind and look from behind at the form. Others might find it easier to surround their entire form but just become aware of the form and its space that it occupies. Again, it's unique, but that's what we recommend for you. Hi, Patricia. Okay. What is a way of raising one's vibration rapidly? Um, there are ways of raising one's vibration rapidly, but you must be prepared for the, the change in your consciousness that occurs. It's if you're in a hot air balloon on the ground and it's tied down, you suddenly cut the, um, the ropes that are holding it down, it can shoot up very quickly. And if you're not experienced in moving your awareness, you can get scared or frightened. We would recommend that you, um, for you, to focus on simple things like birds and trees and flowers that give you visual and uh, auditory pleasures. But if you pay attention to the feelings rather than what the senses are telling you, when you pay attention to the feelings of those things which make you feel good, then you will alter your frequency at a rate that would be, uh, we'll use the term safe and practical for the point of growth to which you're aspiring to. One does not climb Mount Everest without training first. Lori, um, absolutely, they're saying that absolutely, it is in the feeling. We mentioned that words have specific qualities of energy to them. Um, so the word or idea that would represent your strength and power in being a healer, the word that would represent it or the phrase that would represent it is what you would seek. But the phrase, again, is only a mechanism to uh, align your awareness to the vibrational quality of that which you wish to express yourself as being. It is the vibrational quality that once you're aligned to, that you can utilize that quality. In fact, once you tap into it, it begins to flow down through you. So align yourself to the concept, uh, the vibration of the concept, in your case, being a superb healer. What is a superb and confident healer? What is that? How does that feel? And when you feel that feeling and you bring it down into your form, you're now engaging the higher frequencies to manifest that through that physical mechanism in which you're choosing to generate these healing energies through. Very good, Christopher. 
He says that's very true. He said, he said the reason he's done that with you is so that you realize that you, you, you have more than one leg to stand on. <laughs> I don't know what he means by that, but that's what Michael's telling me to tell you right now, that you got more than one leg to stand on. It's not, you're not just using these two legs here. You got spiritual legs called your soul. It's the third leg. <laughs> third leg, that's funny. Um, Mm. Lorraine, uh, your question, they're saying um, you have to first release your attachment to the idea that lower vibrational places can take your frequency down, or the very idea that that can occur in and of itself necessitates a change in your frequency that brings your energy down. But the conscious and deliberate choice to be willing to focus on an idea of your vibration is always delightfully raised high and you are in a state of joy no matter where you are. We recommend you focus on those things, especially when you, you catch your mind, your, your um, what's the, they're saying your, your computer going on autopilot to identify with those lower frequencies. And you gotta stop it and say, I'm gonna turn my attention to joy. I'm not gonna focus on that vibrational frequency. The minute you focus on it, you articulate it into your biological reality, which then affects your uh, your mental reality, which in terms uh, uh, misleads your soul into um, avenues of experience that don't resonate with who you truly are. But you will perceive that as real. As much as you perceive love as real, many people can perceive their pain and suffering as real too. They're just vibrations. They're saying, absolutely, Heidi, you knew that before you asked the question. You know that when you add electrical energy to the form, it raises its frequency automatically. Wow, there's really intense in here because there's, there's stuff rattling around in the cupboards right now. It's very fascinating. That's wonderful, Patricia. Remember, each and every one of you is at the level that's appropriate for the form that you're in, the circumstances you're in, the process you're engaged in. The There's a whole range of different things they're saying are involved in this. and it, There's no general rules for everybody. Some of you might resonate with a lot of what they're saying. And that's fantastic. That just that makes perfect sense to me because it, sh it demonstrates your level of vers versatility in terms of frequency, which is really important. It's learning how to master those frequencies deliberately from the inside out, not letting the outside determine that. And a lot of people's behavior and circumstances and situations are term determined by outside influence. And that's not self-control. That's not self-evolved. That's, that's being manipulated by, by, by believing that something outside of you has more power than you do yourself. And yet you contain the entire force of the universe at your disposal, as does anything around you. <laughs> You just have a choice over whether or not you want to assert that authority or not. We find it very funny how so many of you ask questions that you already know the answers to. Um, in your case, young lady, the um, your question is not because of, of, of not knowing, but because you're choosing to question your experience through what you remember about it rather than the experience itself. We recommend that you stop reviewing your experiences in that fashion so you don't restrict the actual experience and its impact potentially in your progress. Yes, yes. Wow. Well, Don, um, they're, uh, they're, they're putting, they're saying your heart, you, your heart needs to be liberated. You need to liberate your heart from the denser frequencies. Um, and you are still seeking that liberation from outside of your own capabilities to do so. And we would recommend 
that you <laughs> become more light-hearted in your approach to these spiritual practices, to become more light-hearted in your willingness to learn and grow. Play is a very useful tool for liberating yourself from that place of uncertainty. And uh, uncertainty is not your natural state. It's nobody's natural state, although it's sometimes necessary to incline you to shift your direction and perception. <laughs> Wonderful. How are we for time there, guys? 2240. 224. Thank you. I'm going to bring somebody on right now that hopefully has not been on. We have recognized that half of the group so far has come on live and have been coming on consistently and regularly. The other half of you, it is, it is really important, not for us, for you, to find that liberation that you're seeking. It's not about coming live to impress anybody. It's coming alive for your own self-expression, for the articulation of your own being, to be liberated from the illusion that you can't do something. <laughs> you are divine. Let go of the illusion that you cannot do what you need to do, or that somebody might think of something about you. Those things don't serve you. Let's see who we have here. Um, yes, I'll bring you on. Wonderful. You're welcome. They're saying you're welcome, Don. Hello. Hi, Anita. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm terrific, thank you. Tell us a bit about what your experience was when you moved up and up just above your head. What happened up there for you? What did you uh, feel? I just felt a lot of tingling up on the top here of my head. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice and when, warm. Yeah. When you, when you spoke the word love, what did you experience? Uh, just the warmth. And where did that warmth go? Uh, it kind of went around around here, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, around my head. Did you feel any of it go inside your head? Yes. What happened when it went inside your head to that point where it went in? What happened there? Uh, I don't know how to explain it. Um, how did it feel? Well, it had a really loving quality to it, like a real feeling of peaceful, loving feeling. Mm -hmm. Did it grow or shrink as you focused on it? It grew. And what, where did it grow to? Uh, it came down into my heart area. As you're saying these words to me now, what are you feeling? I feel it in my heart area. And what does that, um, that sense of vibration, if you just allow yourself to feel it without trying to understand what you're feeling, what word would you give it? I feel bliss is the word that comes to me. And what would that word say to another person? What would it communicate to others? Uh, hmm. I don't know, joy, I guess, bliss, joy, that kind of thing. Awesome. So it would say that you are joy. What would it actually, what would the words be? I would say joyful. Um, light. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing be joyful, be light. Yeah. That sounds That's about right. What you, that yeah. I could feel that. Yeah. Lang, 
uh, as you learn to articulate the information as it comes down into your form, your mind tries to analyze what the sensation means and tries to break it down. When you start to allow the articulation to happen, when you start, or start to allow the words to flow, you'll feel the truth of them. When I, when I, when I, because I could feel what you were experiencing because we're not separate in reality. Right. So when you articulate the joy and the lightness, your joy, you are joy, you are light, and you could feel that in you, couldn't you? Yes. And you yes. could feel the truth of that from yourself, not from me. Yes. That's important to understand. We can use language to stimulate what's only there. These word vibrations go through this system. They go into your brain and they trigger what's within you. You're not actually receiving anything from me, just a vibration that stimulates what's already there. Okay. Does that make sense? It does. I was going to ask you, you, sorry. Uh, okay. I've, I've been feeling this. I've been having these really high feelings at nighttime. I think I commented earlier. Yes, I'm, I'm feeling very sure that that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm tapping in, aren't I? Yes, you are. Yeah. It's now, and now you're, now what you're doing right this moment is learning how to articulate what you're tapping into, into the manifestation of its, of it, of its meaning for this dimension. Mm -hmm. Right. Like I said, when I allow, when I allow, I allow Michael and, and, and Metatron and, and these beings to come through me, there's no, I don't have a governor on it the same way as I used to years ago. I, I, I would govern, I would question, I'd think about it, right? Now yeah. it's just, it starts to flow. You're starting to feel it and know it. As you do that, you start to articulate what those vibrations are. The feeling gets translated into words and that process allows you to start letting it flow through you. That makes sense? It does. Yeah, I, I'm pretty so sure. Yeah, they're saying allow yourself to, to speak the, the, um, the feeling into words. And they're saying this is, this is a process is pretty universal. You receive a vibration. Yeah. Your brain, when you remove the brain trying to interpret the vibration and go to what is the feeling of the vibration, what is the emotional quality of the vibration, and what would that emotional quality be expressed in, in terms of words, then... You come from a different perspective of rather than analysis you are coming directly from the vibration does that make sense it does and actually at night i do call in love and light quite often when i'm going into this state so that's it really ties in really well here okay so so ask yourself before you go to sleep tonight make a decision they're telling me to get you to do this make a decision that you want to know what the message is of the love and the light. Okay. Keep a pad and paper by the bed. Yep. But ask before you go to sleep, I want to know what the message is of this love and this light. Excellent. I will do that okay. for sure. Wonderful. Thank you. I've got, you're welcome. I've got enough time to bring one more person on and then we're going to move on to our Tomorrow we have the orientation, which will be a lot of fun. So, Anita, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to exit you off now. Okay, and, thanks. Uh, thank, you so much. thank you so much for coming on and sharing your experience with all of us. It's amazing. It's, it's a real gift. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye, hon. Wow, that's so amazing. You guys are just growing so fast. I'm just blown away. Let's see. It's okay. I'm sure I, I really want to bring people on that need to experience being on. Even if you're afraid to be on, you need the experience to get past that which is inhibiting you. Really, really important. Um, okay. And we'll be sending out. Uh, we'll be sending out a list. We'll be sending out a list of a. Uh, of, uh, we'll be sending out a list of names of people that have not that have not been on so that we can have you step forward. If you want to practice one on one with me privately, I'll be happy to do that to walk you through the technology. You deserve to break out of your prison. You deserve to be free of that. OK, wonderful. I'm, I'm bringing you on then.
the um, thank you so much for stepping forward and letting me know because you get to be free. Alex, hi. Thank you so much for <laughs> me, Alex. That's wonderful. That's terrific. Oh. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I want to appreciate the opportunity and I want to say thank you to all the group. Uh, you are really great things of light. I, I have learned so much yet. <laughs> thank you. Well, I can feel your light and the beings that are with you have quite a lot to say. It is, they're, <laughs> saying, they're saying it is, you took the step and in taking the step, you you, you uh, break your chains and it's time now to really be that which you truly are. To be it that which you truly are. Um, now they're asking me to be practical here. When you did the meditation, when you did that little meditation, what was different about how you feel now and how you felt when you started? What is different? Um, I feel smooth. I, I feel seamless. I feel like I'm floating on feathers. I feel like um, feeling with light. When, when there was a climax uh, when I felt the light flowing from the high, from the top to the head and the rest of my body. Like uh, it was pulling me, it, like I was pulling the light from, from the source to down. That was, was my, my impression. Oh, they're asking me to tell you to take a deep breath right now. Take a deep breath. And exhale. And now speak to us that which the light would say to all of us. Light is more than what we would think as human beings, light involves envelopes all that is. And it is a reason for this. The reason is already no, known for everybody, but the challenge is to find it in all physical and non-physical dimensions one at a time. It is something that each soul has to discover when you in tune with love and with higher frequency vibrations that comes from the source and from within yourself. Wow. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Wow. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Brother. <laughs> Thank you. How's that? How's that feel in your body now? Um, bliss, joy, and uh, proud. I'm feeling, <laughs> I'm feeling it over here, Alex. I, I, I know. I know. I've, 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 I, I have to say, I want to share this with everybody. Alex, I've invited Alex on a number of times and he's declined. And tonight, I got to say, man, you stepped up. You really stepped up and you came out. Like I'm getting goosebumps all over me. Michael and them are just sending showers of energy at you and me right now and everybody. <laughs> that was just <laughs> profound. Oh, thank you. I, I really appreciate the opportunity. And this opportunity comes from the source, comes from higher realms, comes from you. And we, we manifest it. And yes. Um, what can I say? We, we are feeling it. The words are not capable enough to describe the, the joy of the moment. Thank you very much. Very it's, lovely. My, it's truly an honor and privilege to be part of this with everybody. Uh, thank, thank you for thank taking you. the time. I thank you for uh, coming up and stepping on. And uh, there's only there's only 15 more people that haven't been on that I'm, in, I'm going to be bringing on. So and we got two <laughs> and a half, almost two more weeks to do it. It's going to be really it's, it's worth it. Was it worth it coming on? No, it's wonderful. It's like um, like losing weight. I'm feeling lighter. <laughs> yes, enlightened. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, that, that's true. <laughs> Alex, 
Bless your heart. Thank, Thank you for you. coming on. I hope to see you practicing on the wall with others, please. I, I will. Thank you. Uh, I really appreciate. Thanks. Every step is a step, no matter how small. Yeah, I think you, uh, you, you, you jumped tonight. You jumped. You like you, they're telling me you jumped. You went woo. You <laughs> well, we we fly. <laughs> That's right. Much love, much love, Alex. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, have a nice evening. Uh, God bless. You too. So there we have it, folks. Um, we got five minutes left. I I, I cannot express the gratitude I feel that have not come on whether you know it or not we're all working together and you're you're not alone in this process and the the willingness you have to not let your fear articulate your actions will have such a profound liberating process Alex what Alex just delivered and what all of you have delivered that have come on and expressed the messages that you innately have coming through you that have been seeking to be allowed through you is profound and it, it, it can be it doesn't matter what one person's experience and expression is of that energy and consciousness is or the others what matters is that you are here because you are willing <laughs> you are willing to allow the articulation of your soul to have its opportunity to be that which it came here to be in this physical time space continuum and I extend my deepest love and respect to all of you, as do my team. Uh, Michael, Metatron, particularly, thank you for this evening. And um, we are, yes, Master. I, 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 I bless you all. And uh, I'll look forward to the next time they, they bring these opportunities up for us. Um, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do the best I can to get to your questions and concerns that you leave in the comments below this. And I'm going to be posting this, this um, um, uh, on the wall. Uh, it's just wonderful. Thank you all for stepping up and being fearless. Much love. Bye for now.